as new things happen to me, especially on my mobile, I share them with everyone else. And it helps me use and remember them. Today, it's Gmail nudges where you can reply and follow up and suggest emails to... Let's go to the next slide. So um, this is the way it works, is that what I did is I looked at the email account. Let me just go down one slide and I'll show you what actually happened. Then I'll backtrack. Um, so in other words, that was my primary email today where I'd got an email obviously hidden for a little bit of uh, modesty there and from somebody. So actually, no, it's not true. It was from what myself from Gmail and it said it was sent five days ago. Would you like to follow up on it? So I thought, well, that's the first time I've ever seen it. Eventually, I found exactly the same notification, which was sent five days follow up. Notice this one's in a nice orange, but on desktop, it was in a gray, a little bit harder to spot. And so what I'm getting at now you've seen it is to understand how you activate it. So in the Gmail app, and I'm using Android 7, give you the version of the app in a second. There is something in there in the settings called nudges, reply and follow up. When you open it up, there is suggest emails to say that you've forgotten or will appear at the top of your inbox. Emails that you might have forgotten to respond to. This example, of course, is where I've sent an email out to someone. They've never replied back to me and it's just a, a follow up. Maybe it was forgotten. I was looking for this feature quite a long time ago and I couldn't find it because I, I have ideas and then I send them to people and then if they don't reply I forget about them which is a shame uh, because it's a missed opportunity for everyone so the other one is suggest emails to follow up on uh, that you might need to follow up on and will appear at the top so this was after a five days I don't know if you could control that so bottom line just to repeat is that this is how it appeared to me and it was me Remember, it was a sent out, but I got nothing back. Sent five days ago, do you want to follow up? If you click the follow up or the message, it just opens the message. It doesn't do anything else. On the right hand side of the screen for interest in my sent box, there are still things in the same look, top left, orange, bottom right, snoozed until someday, which was a test earlier. So that's the same sort of orangey sort of color. And on desktop, you find those in inbox snoozed so that is it for the tip or by it to say or be it to say um, Android 7 of course Gmail app as we all know looks like that the version that I was using here because it will say varies with device is um, 8.5.6 dot lots of numbers and you can see it should you not have the nudges bit hope you do um, was that the end of the video? Oh yeah. And then the last bit, and this is why I'm making this slide because it helps me to give on visual screen prompts to make sure I do the lesson correctly. And that is that in the help, if I searched keyword nudges, what I get is, uh, in my example, it's an Android thing. I'll put this link in the box uh, of this video. Android, open the message, yada, yada. Now, the thing is that the reason I'm doing it is that you can turn off nudges if you don't like them. And I know that we can't please everybody all of the time. And you can turn off smart reply as well. Bottom right on the box here that I noticed in the forum, that nudges appear, as I've said, in the top of your primary inbox. Turning them off may still leave that message or messages in the primary inbox and there is a thread in the help section if you do uh, Android app help um, in the forum which is people um, are concerned that messages aren't disappearing but I'm, I'm not following that here at the end of the day um, let's go back to the the top one which was uh, the main slide to finish up on this was Gmail nudges reply and follow up and suggest things which I thought was pretty useful so another Mike Downs page video done for the 30th of May 18 thank you very much and goodbye